This video is brought to you by ASRock and the Steel Legend Z390. Yes, Z390. I did a review on this board and it actually does overclock to 5 GHz all cores. So you're basically ready for the 9900KS that's coming out in Q4 of 2019, or that is out as of Q4 of 2019. Now even though this is a cost down motherboard, it still doesn't sacrifice networking or audio. So you get the Realtek ALC1200 based audio codec, even with optical SPDIF. You get the 7.1 out, gold plated connectors. You also got an Intel gigabit NIC, you get the 10 gigabit interface for USB. It's also got a PS2 port for people like me that still use a Model M. You've got the CNVI M.2 interface. All in all, not too bad. The M.2 is also located above the GPU, so your M.2 is going to have plenty of airflow as well. So, some pretty good design choices here, given the constraints that ASRock was working within. Nice job, ASRock. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. No, we're not, we're not doing that again. The Intel Performance Maximizer. It's overclocking. Automatic tuning. It's not the extreme tuning utility. What the heck? Yes. This is not the Intel of yesteryear. This is an entirely new and different Intel. Yeah, you could use the extreme u tuning utility before, push some buttons. You're taking your CPU into your own hands. But the Performance Maximizer, on the other hand, does it all for you. And that's completely different. That's uh, also done in a safe environment outside of your operating system, which is actually pretty cool. Now you can download and use this right now if you have a Z390 motherboard and a 9th generation K-series overclockable CPU, like the 9900K or the 9700K. We've got the 9900K and the 9700K is what we use for our testing. It's actually pretty genius what Intel is doing here with this thing outside you know, your operating system. When you install it, it creates a 16 gigabyte bootable partition on your hard drive. When you run the Windows program, it basically reboots your machine into that UEFI partition, and that bootable partition does all the performance tuning there. That's outside your operating system, it's not really inside Windows. It very slowly and conservatively ratchets, ratchets up the voltage and the uh, clock speed until it meets the cooling limits, your CPU cooling limits of your system. Now, you can expect that most 9900K CPUs will hit 5 GHz all core, and Intel in Q4 of 2019 is going to offer the Bend 9900KS that they announced at Computex that, that will hit 5 GHz on all cores out of the box. It's basically guaranteed. Now, you might not realize this, but the base clock of this CPU is only 3.6 GHz, and the single core boost is 5 GHz overclock. Now, when you know, for 5 GHz, you know, built in, built in boost, I don't really want to call that overclock. So going from 3.6 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz is, is pretty good. Now, some hints about using the program. First, I'd recommend that you load setup defaults, disabling XMP or setting the default memory. Uh, the default or the supported memory speed on 9th gen is 2666. 2133 would also work, but you set it to 2666. Uh, because the performance maximizer for me was doing some funny stuff with the XMP profile loaded. Now, it looks like our system here reached five gigahertz all cores after about 30 minutes of testing. You can reboot into UEFI and then you can re-enable XMP after it's it's done its thing. And it, you know, it took about a half an hour to run on our system. It could take up to an hour, just depending. Now doing it outside the operating system means there is a minimal chance that a bad overclock is gonna corrupt your system or do something bad. You should still back up your system before installing the software, all the same, just to be you know safe. So this is an Intel 8086K. It's an anniversary thing. Five gigahertz all core, no problem. I've got it in a lovely fractal mesh file. I've got a, a fractal, you know, S24, 240 millimeter cooler. 8700K, 8086, come on here. I don't think Intel has any excuse. They have 15,000 software engineers alone, which is more people than AMD has employees. And really isn't that what the software is about? Responding to competition? I mean, automatic overclocking for eighth generation parts? I think they could have done that. Maybe they are a bit worried about AMD, and maybe the software was rushed out the door because of that worry. So, still, if you have a ninth generation K series CPU, even an i5 9600K, download and run this software. It's free performance. It feels like I'm hawking a download more RAM type application, but it legit does work. Oh, and if for some reason you fry your CPU, Intel will cover it for you a replacement CPU that is. It's about $20 US under the performance tuning and protection plan, which for me is totally worth it because 
3.6 gigahertz base clock. That's a little bit pokey. And I mean, technically it does have a default all core boost of 4.3 gigahertz. That's a bit faster, but I want my five gigahertz, eight core, all core performance. That's what I want. So you should download this and give it a try if you've got a ninth generation CPU. And here's hoping that they'll add support for the eighth generation CPU, especially 8700K and 8086K. I'm Wendell, this is level one. I'm gonna go hang out in the level one forums. Welcome if you're new here. Uh, you know, you should probably give this video a bump if you liked it, or you know, if not, you can give it the other kind of bump. I don't know, it's fine, don't care. Well, I'm gonna care a little bit. All right, I'm Wendell, I'm signing out. I'll see you in the level one forums.